we present to you the Rasunudos mission, an advanced one kilometer apogee research rocket that will test numerous innovative systems and take a payload of scientific relevance to the skies. It was designed by the Club Aerospatial FP Una team as its second project ever for the development of rocket technology in Paraguay and to participate in the Latin American Space Challenge. The rocket weighs 9.54 kilograms before takeoff. The main component's weight distribution is shown. Arasunu 2 has a stability margin of 1.5 calibers when leaving the launch rate and 1.85 calibers during flight. Flight profile simulations have been performed with a resulting estimated apogee of 1,248 meters. This apogee will be refined with the motor's actual performance in real-world conditions, which will ultimately leave the apogee at 1,000 meters. Propulsion subsystem. The propulsion system uses three propellant grains with a combined mass of 1.39 kilograms, and the propellant composition consists of a 65 to 35 mix of potassium nitrate and sorbitol. The casing is a three-inch diameter tube with three millimeters of wall thickness, made of 6063 T5 aluminum alloy. All the components have been analyzed to have a safety factor of two or above through finite element analysis using ANSYS. Thermal simulations have also been carried out. The bell-shaped diversion section of the nozzle has been designed through the method of characteristics using MATLAB for an optimal isentropic expansion. It is made of 304 stainless steel. Here we can see a CFD simulation of the nozzle made in ANSYS fluent. Structures and Aerodynamics The team has conducted exhaustive axisymmetric CFD simulations using ANSYS Fluent to determine the best type and L over D ratio out of various nose cones, also considering varying angles of attack and Mach numbers. Something similar was done with the bow tube, as a database of performance for different L over Ds and angles have been generated during this project. This helped the team in the selection of an appropriate bow tube geometry. CFD and FEA analysis for the main fins have also been successfully performed. The parts of the fuselage have been analyzed through finite element analysis in ANSYS Structural. The fuselage is made of eight layers of Robin 220, bidirectional fiberglass and epoxy composite material, resulting in a thickness of approximately 1.5 millimeters. Also, testing specimens have been manufactured with the goal of performing a material study to further characterize the team's new material. Avionics subsystem. The avionics has two commercial dual-event flight computers, which are the Telemetrum and the RRC3+. The data logger consists of a Raspberry Pi 3B+, whose camera port is connected to an NVIDIA V101 adapter to receive video from the GoPro camera. The Active Stabilization Control System, ASCS, has control surfaces that can compensate for roll, pitch, and jaw deviations caused by disturbances in the rocket flight path. The data logger also records data from the ASCS. Recovery Subsystem the recovery system consists of a CO2 non-pyrotechnic ejection system. The chosen design of the parachute is an ellipsoidal shape, with a ratio of radii equals to 0.6 meters. This is in order to take better advantage of the cross-sectional area, which is closer to a flat disk, thus obtaining the highest track. The recovery consists of three phases. Phase 1. Once apogee altitude is reached, the flight computers send a signal to an Arduino Nano, which actuates a servo from 0 to 90 degrees and releases a CO2 bud that separates the rocket and releases the two-speed parachute. Phase 2. Once outside, the parachute is partially deployed and contained by a string. Phase 3. Upon reaching an altitude of 500 meters, the string is burned by resistors that are heated by the batteries from the flight computers, thus fully deploying the parachute and finally descending the rocket to the ground. Payload Subsystem The rocket payload has two experiments on board, a biological experiment and another imaging experiment. The biological experiment consists of a capsule containing a culture medium, nutrient growth, to obtain samples of microorganisms present at an altitude range between 700 to 100 meters. The culture medium must enter the capsule in a sterile way and maintain it until apogee. Therefore, the growth medium in the capsule will go through a high-pressure steam sterilization process, autoclave, in addition to being in a cabin equipped with UV light to keep the growth medium sterile, ensuring that the possible microorganisms are from the atmosphere. The capsule has a hatch, which at apogee will open, exposing the tube with culture medium to the atmosphere for sampling. The imaging experiment consists of taking images of the surface at an altitude of 1 km with the aim of subsequent image processing for the detection of catastrophes such as floods and fires. For this, a high-resolution SQ-11 mini camera was installed. At Apogee, a string holding a compressed spring is burned by resistors that are heated by the altimeters, thus ejecting the payload. The payload has a topological and structural optimization that allows for greater efficiency in the use of the useful volume as well as the distribution of material to withstand the mechanical stresses to which this structure will be subjected when the springs ejected. The projected research and development costs are shown. 
It is expected that once the technology and efficiency are refined further, the cost will drastically decrease. Thanks to Entidad Binacional Yacireta for providing the necessary funding for this project. Thanks to Pion Labs for facilitating our participation in the Latin American Space Challenge. And that's it for our PRR presentation. Thanks for watching.